Let's look at how to create randomized quizzes and quizzes with special access in Blackboard. We'll start at our tests pool page and we're going to build a test. And here we'll put the name of our test. So for us, it's going to be chapter one. And then we'll put a brief description of the test for students. And then we'll also put some instructions for the students, maybe uh, how they should complete it or time limits, things like that. We'll click submit. And then we see that we have no questions. So we want to reuse questions from the random block. So we're creating from a random block. Here we see the pool that we created. So we click that chapter one pool and all of the questions will pop up. When we do that, we wanna select the number of questions and points. So we're choosing five questions. And uh, then we've created that. So when we want to insert it, we'll go to that assignments and insert, and we're gonna select that chapter one test because we've already created it and click submit. And we can add any additional information. And here we'll tell our Blackboard system that we want to make it available to our students. I like to allow multiple attempts. I usually actually allow two attempts for students so that they can average those together to get the better score. So I'll put a two here so they can try it twice. And here is where I'll click. I want to average the two scores together. Now I'm gonna set a timer. This is a short quiz, so we're just gonna give 10 minutes. And then here I can make some special exceptions if I've got particular students who need additional access or extended time or any other features. So uh, a list of my students will pop up and I can go ahead and search students by their name and I can just input the student's last name here and click go and that will generate that list for me. The students will pop up and I'll click on that individual student's name um, and it's going to bring me back to this. So here I can change the number of attempts they get. I can change the time if they have extended time um, and I can change that availability for the student as well. I can also extend the due date if I had a student traveling or going out of town for some reason. Uh, I could give them more, uh, more time to, uh, to turn it in at a later date. Here at the bottom, I can click when I want them to get their feedback. So I want students to just view it one time um, or after the due date. Since they can take it more than once, I want them to see the results after the due date and then they can see all of the answers after they can't take it anymore. I could have them see one question at a time, but I don't mind if they see it all at once, but I do go ahead and randomize the questions so that it's different each time. Now I've got a test. So let's look at it like a student sees it. The student sees the chapter test. They get the instructions that I've entered and they can begin. And then once they begin, they see my description and instructions and they see the questions. So they click on their save and submit. And yes, they wanna submit. They can see that the test has been saved and submitted. And then the student can see what their attempt was and they can see the answers, which ones were correct uh, and which ones were not. So the student can click okay and that's what that looks like for the student to take the test. So that's how we create a randomized quiz and give special access in Blackboard for quizzes. Good luck.